Hey, you guys. My name is Chakisa Wilson, and I am here with part two of the video. Now go check out part one. Part one was how to change the clothes on your images. And part two is going to show you what I did with the images, how I placed the images on all of my baby items, okay? So you will see that in this video. With that being said, let's get it. up the baby bottle for our basket our baby basket and I just wanted to show you the image before I place it on the baby bottle so we got our coat of epoxy down on our blue glitter and if I can ooh, this one's kind of hard to take off hold on guys Now, here's our image. Now, look at this outfit and the shoes. I changed the outfit and the shoes. Remember, on part one, I showed you how to change the outfit. And I did it on all of my images for this baby basket. It is tedious, but it's well worth it because you will get that wow factor. Because this is going to be super duper adorable. All right? Okay, yeah, that was that was tough because my sticker kept getting wrinkled and I didn't want to tear it. But there he is. Ain't that cute? This is the baby bottle. Now we almost done with that. And I'll be back with the next part of our basket. Hey, you guys. We are back with another part of the baby basket. My order from Amazon just came in. You see it? And inside this bag is my onesie, you guys. But, hold on. We are going to rock with the royal blue onesie look at that you guys super cute super cute now i told you i wanted that dark royal blue i'm tired of that little light blue stuff no we're gonna rock with the dark blue today for this basket you guys super cute this is um 36 months from gerber and i got my image all ready to go so all i'm gonna do is straighten out this onesie and just like so, I'm just going to press it down for 10 seconds. It's uh, on 320, and it's set for 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to put my baby on there. Okay, thank you. What you guys think? You look all right right there. Should I move them up? What y'all think? I think it look good right there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh he kind of melted on there anyway. Let me see if I can move him down just a little bit. Just trying to straighten him out. What y'all think? Okay. So, I'm going to take my parchment paper. Fold it in half and cut it because I'm going to use the other half for the other part of our basket. And I'll show you that in a minute. 
first let's finish this shirt. So, take this parchment paper, put it right on top of him, just like so. I'm going to press him down for, um, I'm gonna press him down for about 10 seconds, just for it to stick to the shirt, because I got another part to do. So I'm gonna hold it down for 10 seconds. Boom. Okay. Now, I also have my little Gucci logo I would like to stick on there. Just like that. How that look you guys? It's hard for me to see. I'm trying to record and trying to put this. It's kind of it ain't as easy as you guys might think. Because I'm at a weird angle. Okay. I think it looks good right there. We're going to rock with it like that. Okay? So, I'm going to put my parchment back on. And do it for the remaining time, which is 20 seconds. Okay? cool for a minute so we're gonna peel that off and see what we're working with okay you guys it's cooled down now so i'm just gonna simply peel this off oh and there it is isn't that so cute but i ain't finished i gotta flip it over because we're gonna press the back Just to protect it a little bit. Press it down. For about 15 seconds. And we are good. Look oh, where the paper go. There it go. We're good, you guys. And that, that's our shirt for our basket. Okay, you guys, we are going to make our baby wipe case for our baby basket. This is the baby wipe case we're, we will be using. This is the image that we will be rocking with for our baby wipe case. And the material we will be using it breaks my heart to tell you I am going to actually use one of my blue onesies for the material because it is a late and cold outside and I am not about to go back out to Joanne Fabrics. So I am just simply going to use one of my onesies. So I'm going to simply place my baby wipe case right in the center Woo, this breaks my heart and let's see if I can do this on camera I'm simply going to go right along let's see if I can do this just like so it does not have to be perfect Cut, we should be good, you guys. <gasps> oh my goodness, my onesie! There we have it. <laughs> you guys, I want to cry. But this is also a great example to show you that you do not need regular fabric. You can use whatever you can find for your material. And we gonna rock with my poor little beautiful blue 
onesie. And there you have it. My, my material for my baby wipe case. Okay, you guys. I am finished with the baby wipe case. Remember, for all the items that I will be placing in the baby gift basket, I show you how to do. Go ahead and check out my videos. But this is the completed baby wipe case. That's the back and the front. Okay, you guys, now we are going to do our comb and brush set for our baby basket. Now I'm going to do is re gently remove the cardboard. Now the key is I'm trying to keep it intact as much as possible. We're gonna reuse the packaging. There we go. Put that to the side. We're gonna put our sticker on to our brush. We're going to rock it. before and after okay now I am going to clean up our packaging and transform it and I'll be back okay you guys I am finished with our comb and brush set super cute look it Okay, now we are going to go ahead and finish up with our baskets. Hey, you guys. We are finished with the baby bottle. Now I'm going to show you how to package this up for your baby basket. All right, super simple. You're gonna take A gift bag, one of them, you know, little gift bags from a birthday party for little kids. You're gonna grab one of those. Then you're gonna grab your ribbon, your curly ribbon. And you're gonna put the bottle inside and wrap the ribbon around. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, now we got everything all wrapped up and ready to go. Now let's put our basket together and see what it looks like. 